the world's biggest rocket has failed a few minutes after takeoff. Three, two, one. SpaceX's uncrewed rocket Starship reached space for the first time after launching from Texas. The flight was supposed to last for 90 minutes, but contact was lost roughly 10 minutes after launch. Sky's Emma Birchley has the story. There would have been a certain amount of trepidation at 7 a.m. local time uh, as the Starship was about to lift off uh, from Texas um, because back in April uh, on the inaugural flight, uh, things had all gone wrong four minutes in. But I tell you what, the team back at Starbase have a brilliant line in positive spin because they see all of uh, the problems that happen in these test flights as being a learning opportunity. That is why they have these test flights. So 7 a.m. local time, uh, the Starship uh, lifts off, and it was a few minutes into that that the super heavy booster, as it's called, um, uh, came away uh, as planned. It was the part that sends the main rocket, uh, main ship, up towards space. Uh, but then that exploded. Now, uh, back at Starbase, they said, oh, well, that's OK. You know, we're learning the lessons. This is all all right. Uh, and then at about eight minutes in, uh, that is when contact was lost and it became clear that something uh, catastrophic had happened to that main uh, stage of this rocket ship. But as far as SpaceX is concerned, owned, of course, by Elon Musk, it's all moving in the right direction. Ultimately, the aim is to take as many as 100 astronauts at a time uh, in this uh, vehicle uh, into planetary uh, journeys, we're told, to Mars, uh, the Earth's orbit, to the Moon. There are seriously high hopes for this, and I, I guess, you know, they see this as all being part of that learning curve. But one thing you know for sure, very expensive mistakes to make.